Hi, gentle yogis, Shauna here. Welcome. I'm so glad you could join me today. As we move about in our society in this day and age, many of us walk around with this baseline of stress, just constantly with this fight or flight turned on. And this brings about stress in the body, whether it's the to-do list, taking care of the family, due dates at work, a stressful boss or work environment, going to college, whatever it is that puts these pressures on us, makes it so we're walking around with just this vibration of stressful energy almost all the time. Makes it hard to go to sleep at night, makes us not wanna get out of bed in the morning, makes it so we're walking around with this energy that we just don't know what to do with. And so through our yoga practice, we can begin to train our brains to turn on the rest and restore, to teach ourselves that, okay, it's okay. We're not in a fight or flight environment at this moment. We can pause and we can relax, bringing this nourishment to the body, calming the nervous system. So the practice today is just for that. It's to create an environment within our body to have that rest and restore mechanism turned on. So we're gonna start right out getting comfy in Shavasana. If you have a blanket or even a pillow, um, you can take that and we'll use that underneath the knees. For the blanket, just be sure to roll it up And then a pillow you can just place underneath the knees. So we'll start out and just when you're ready, get into that comfortable position on back body. You can either roll onto back or just lower yourself down. Once you're there, pull the shoulders underneath the back. You may pull your blanket or your pillow a little bit closer to you. You just want it positioned underneath the knees. Allow the feet to separate so that they're about as wide as the mat. The arms can come out to the sides. <sighs> the palms face up. Just allow this heaviness to come about in the body. You've set aside this time for yourself. So just giving that message, that signal to the brain that for this next amount of time to just release and let go. Feeling a heaviness through the back of the body, even inviting this heaviness in through the front of the body, softening through the face the muscles in the jaw. And then if it would feel comfortable for you, bend your elbows and just have your hands come to your torso, the belly, the sides of the body, wherever your hands naturally fall, you wanna be comfortable. And just begin to invite that yogic breath in, the full belly breathing. And if this is difficult for you, don't stress about it. Just invite the breath to move into the lower lungs, into the belly. Even deep breath. Just in your mind's eye, count the exhales down from five to one. When you get down to one, just allow a natural flow of breath. So your next 
Exhale will be five. Noticing the back body on the mat and then just gently begin to bring small movements to fingers and toes. It's a slow invitation to the body to begin movement. Maybe lift the hands up off of the body and make circles with the hands. A full body stretch would feel good here. Go ahead and do that. Reach through the toes. Reach the arms overhead. Maybe a yawn or a sigh. Maybe a wiggle. Whatever feels good. But then we'll all meet together with our knees bent. You can move that blanket or that pillow out of the way if you had it. And we'll take our arms out in our big T shape. Just press into the soles of the feet, lift the hips, find neutral in back body, and we'll take the feet about hip bone, no, wider than hip bone, about mat width apart. Coming in for our windshield wipers, so just allowing your knees to drop to the left. Slowly moving through center, just nice and easy, knees drop to the right. All this gentle lift of the hip. Allow your breath to be your partner throughout the whole practice today, inviting the exhale to be this reminder of restoration within the body. If it would feel good, turn your head the opposite way that the knees are flowing. And the next time your knees float to the right, just take a pause there. Let the muscles in the legs get heavy. And take your right hand, if it's comfortable for you, to your belly. Bend the right elbow. Just a full belly breath right here. We'll slowly move through center, extend the right arm again. The knees will move to the left. Maybe the gaze turns to the right. The left elbow bends, left hand to belly. Muscles get soft, the body relaxes, and at least one full belly breath. As we come through center, let's walk the feet back in, extend the arms back out to the sides, feet come in about hip bone width apart. We'll take our right knee into chest, clasping behind the right knee today, and just extend the left leg on the mat. Nice and easy with the left leg. Pull the knee into chest, begin making circles with the right foot. Allow a softening through the body. As your right foot comes into stillness, we'll take the right hand, the right palm to right knee, and release the left arm to the left, just extending the left arm straight out to the left, and just slowly begin to open the right knee to the right. And then we'll bring the right knee back up through center. So adding the breath, 
Inhale as the right knee opens to the right. Exhale as the right knee comes center. Just following your breath, noticing if you're wanting to rush the movements. You want to make your breath go faster. And see if you can slow the breath down. Allow yourself to really move into this idea of restoration and relaxation. The next time the right knee opens to the right, just take a pause there. Get comfy with the hand on the knee. One or two full belly breaths. And we'll bring the right knee through center. Release the right sole of foot to mat. We'll set up for opposite side. Left knee comes into chest. That clasp behind the knee. And extend the right leg straight out on the mat. Once you're there, begin those circles with the left foot. And be sure to reverse directions. Beautiful. And have the left foot come into stillness. We'll take the left hand to the left knee. Release right arm to the right. And just slowly begin to open the left knee to the left. This will be our inhale. And the exhale as the left knee comes back through center. Inhale as you open. Exhale as the knee comes back through center. Keeping the breath slow and smooth. Notice that inclination, if you have it, to rush the movement or the breath. Just inviting in this relaxation, this ease in our practice. Next time the left knee opens to the left, just hold right there. Take a pause. At least one or two deep belly breaths. As the left knee comes back through center, right knee will meet left knee, will hook the ankles. Just begin rocking side to side. <sighs> Maybe even making circles with the knees. Just be gentle with yourself. <coughs> when you're ready, we'll roll on to right side body. Press up to simple seated, nice and easy. Maybe take that pillow or that blanket underneath your sits bones. Allow your eyes to close, the palms come to knees. Just a moment of centering in. To clear through the energy, we're going to take a lion's breath variation. So traditional lion's breath, eyes are open and the eyes actually go cross-eyed as you look up toward the ceiling. But I like to keep the eyes closed. It's a full deep breath in, and then the exhale is sticking the tongue out. The tip of the tum tongue reaches toward the tick tip of the chin. It looks like this. <sighs> nice, so clearing. So we'll take six rounds of that breath. Pull the heels of the hands to the hip creases. Take one whole breath in and out in preparation. So a deep breath in and out. Allow the eyes to close. We'll take a deep breath in and begin. So deep breath in, release. Three more. Three 
Last one. Real big. Deep breath in, soft flow out. Just allow a natural flow of breath. The palms come back to knees. Maybe the tips of the thumbs meet the tips of the pointer finger. Just allow this settling within the physical body and the face and the shoulders, the hips and the legs. Awesome. And then slowly allow the eyes to open. We'll pull the heel of the right hand close to the hip crease and just gently begin to lift the left arm up. Allow the gaze to turn to the right. And then we'll lower the gaze comes through center. Inhale as we lift. Turn the head to the right. Exhale as we lower. Head comes center. Beautiful. Just follow that for a few rounds. Soft through the shoulders. One more round. Bring the palm, the left palm to the hip crease and then the right arm comes out to the right. We'll inhale, the right arm lifts, gaze looks to the left. Exhale as you lower, gaze comes center. Same deal as other side, just continue this flow. Soft and easy, gentle through the shoulders. Two more rounds. Beautiful. Take the hands, the palms to thighs, begin those shoulder rolls, pulling forward, up, back, and down. Next time, shoulders pull back and down. Just take a gentle pause here. We'll bring the fingertips behind us, either clasping on the blanket, the pillow, or hands can go flat to mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really lift the heart toward the ceiling and just gently lift the chin, the heart expansion. Three full big breaths. Maybe exhale out of the mouth. Beautiful, allow a softening through the shoulders, lengthening of the spine. And then we'll come into our tabletop. So move the feet to the right, hands come to top of mat. Maybe you unroll your blanket and put it underneath your knees. It's always nice to have that comfort. And right away, we'll go to child's pose. So just let the knees spread wide, the hips and tailbones sink back. Maybe the elbows bend and the forearms stack. That sometimes can feel nourishing or maybe you want to extend the arms forward when the forehead meets the mat either way take a little wiggle through the body allow the breath to expand into the back of the rib cage Inviting in this restoration and relaxation. Just slowly begin to lift up. Allowing yourself to come into tabletop pose, the fingers 
spread wide. We're gonna move into a flowing child's pose. So bring the torso forward, shift the hips to the left, circle around to the back, go to the right, and then center again. So just continue this circular motion. Allow this fluid flow, full deep breaths. We'll go the opposite direction. Next time you come forward, just pause here. We're gonna make our way into lion's breath. So our inhale will be the cow pose. The belly drops, the chin lifts. Our exhale will start our cat and reach our tailbone back. This is where we'll exhale using the lion's breath. So just a couple rounds to prepare. Inhale through cow. Exhale, start the cat, reach the tailbone back. One more. Next round, we'll do our lion's breath. So big inhale, six rounds of lion's breath. Inhale through your cow and release. Five more, really sticking the tongue out. Two more. Last one. Pause here in the child's pose variation. And then when you feel ready, just begin to lift up and move into cow cat. The belly drops, the chin lifts, the back of the heart lifts. The head and neck soften, allowing the breath to flow and guide you. Next time you're in cat pose, pause there and just turn the head side to side. As the head comes into stillness, we'll just come into flat back tabletop, walk the hands back, the feet move to the side. If you have that blanket, you can move it out of the way. Either bring your blanket and roll it again, going down onto back body, or bring your pillow back for the, um, the little lift underneath the knees. <clears throat> so just making your way onto back body, maybe take the hands behind the knees, roll onto the back. Knees come into chest, little rock side to side. <clears throat> Make sure you're on the mat. And then as we come to stillness, our soles of feet will come to the bolster, the pillow, or the mat. So my, my blanket's way too close, so I'm gonna push it a little further away. We'll take our feet close together and come into a butterfly pose. Just allow the knees to drop out to the sides, the soles of feet meet, and check in with your body. Would it feel best to have the palms meet the belly or for the arms to extend out to the sides? Just kind of check in, pick whatever pose feels best for you. And allow this gentle flow of breath. Beginning to invite in even more deeply this sense of relaxation within the body. Each exhale bringing you closer to this state of total relaxation. You're welcome to stay right here in butterfly pose if you want for your Shavasana. 
If you're ready to extend the legs, just lift the knees. You can extend the legs right here over this pillow or the blanket, whatever you have, or just on the mat. Allow the, the feet to flop open to the sides. Check in with your Shavasana pose. Do you want the hands to the belly? Do you want the arms out to the sides? Just checking whatever feels good for you. Set yourself up for comfort. Once you're there, take an exhale or two out of the mouth, allow releasing a settling in for Shavasana. Inviting a heaviness in through the feet and the legs. This heaviness and relaxation moves into the pelvis, the hips, the glutes. Continuing through the belly and the back. Relaxation through the shoulder blades, the heart, the shoulders and the arms completely relaxed and heavy. The hands and the fingers. And the neck the jaw and the cheeks, the whole face completely relaxed through the eyes, the ears, the forehead and the crown of the head. And just allow yourself to take this time, 10 exhaling or 10 breaths, but counting down from 10 on the exhales. So your next soft exhale will be 10, then nine, all the way down to one. Keeping the mind's eye on the breath, the counting of the exhales. Welcome to stay here as long as you want. If you're ready for movement, just begin to bring small movements to fingers and toes. We'll slowly bend the knees, the soles of feet come to the mat or that blanket or pillow if they're there and just very mindfully roll onto right side body. Make your way with gentleness up to a simple seated pose. Being very caring with the movements of the body. Allow the palms to come to knees. <clears throat> Softness through the face. Keeping this relaxed state in the body. Together we'll take our arms out to the sides. Soft inhale as we lift the arms up. Exhale as palms meet together at heart center. Connected to heart center where deepest love lives. We take a moment to send this love to ourselves. And then we send this love out to each other. The community and yoga. Feeling this love and connection, the deepest part in me, the light and love that lives within me bows with honor 
and gratitude to that same light and love that lives within you. Namaste. I hope you'll take a few moments throughout the week to continue this rest and renewal, this restoration within the body. I hope that this practice served you. I'll see you next time on the mat.